Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Hell in a Glory. I'm your host, Keelvin, and we're still Pope hunting. Warring to gain control of various holdings that are owned by His Holiness th himself. Uh, because I know that if I can acquire all of them, now that I'm an Imperial level title, uh, last time I conquered the Pope, I was a duke, I think. I don't think I'd made it to king yet. Um, maybe. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Enforce my demands. There we go. We've got one of them. Alright, Winchester. Let's revoke this title here. Done. Well, so something somebody brought up a couple episodes ago that I never did address was this. This is named after Constantine the Traitor, the one who destroyed the Roman Empire. No. Kilvino. No, wait, that's spelled wrong. Jesus Christ. Here's my own name. There we go. Kilvinopal. After the first great emperor of, well, of the restored Roman Empire. To replace Constantine the Traitor's name on such a terrible thing. After all, if we go all the way back, history, I don't know, it would be Italia. No. The Empire of Italia. Damn it, I can't, I can't see the title history anymore. If we follow, follow it back up. Here we go. The Confessor, 110 years old, just instantly died of measles. <laughs> uh, poor guy. Just, the measles just kind of touched him and he exploded. Alright, so, let's move through. Alright. Then we can hand you out. Urser. Apparently we didn't get it the first time. <laughs> Good right land a title. The Duchy of Wessex. There we are. The Pope cannot hide. The Pope is quickly running out of places to hide. His last holding is in Stiermark. And that will be the next target. And we're now gaining, of course, frigging uh, influence up here in England. Which is still part of the uh, former Roman Empire, so well within our rights to conquest. Yeah, he's got nothing. Oh wow, that, that that's actually an astounding army. Um, all right, let's beat it up. Crush him and his soul. Good. All right, we win. That's what I thought. And with that, we just revoke a title. As much as I could go through and rename all the bishoprics of Saint Whatevers, it's, that's way too much work. Let's face it. I uh, grant unto you a landed title. There we are. Most excellent. Alright, so that puts uh, down two more po papal holdings. That's right, we'll have to assassinate the Pope. Where are you? In Gwent, I see. I like that it's a, they're Welsh popes now. Alright, we'll start with Corfe. Oh no, apparently we will start here. <laughs> Because, you know. Oop. Bring an autosave. Looked like it crashed my game for a second there. And done. Scratch one papal army. And you're done. And now. You have been assassinated. And will now die again. Uh, 
Huzzah. Blitzkrieging the Pope. How often do you get to do that? Alright. That's church number two. All forcefully taken away from the poop. God. Alright, um... So that leaves the Pope with only one holding. I should really do something about some of these revolts before they get out of hand. Yeah, liberation revolts are large, to say the least. They have that annoying tendency. So. That leaves... You. Just this one little holding. If I use County Conquest on it, I believe, that should give me direct control of the province. Yeah. So, then when I inevitably press my own county claim on it, because I'm an Emperor level title and can vassalize him, since I'm not Pressing a claim directly on the papacy, I believe in theory he should become my vassal. In theory. I, just, I, I I've looked at the code and read it over, and I don't think there's any failsafe for that. So I think we're okay, but you know, I want that damn pope. I've gotten the rest of them somehow. As if by some sort of magic. So. Uh Okay, come on here. Doo -doo -doo. Alright, so that's revolt one down. Let's come on down here and grab the second one. Oop, ill. Hopefully it doesn't quite die. Uh, it's just a rumor, let's see. So. There was apparently, someone said that there was a green county around here. Also apparently on a barony there. Uh, huh, apparently not. There's no technology at all. Okay, so you can come to the capital scheme then. You may be the marshal now. I kind of need one. Kind of have needed one for a while, but that's a minor problem. Okay. So let's crush a liberation revolt. Eh, <sighs> yeah, will you take this white piece? Alright, fine. Reconquer the stuff. I'm too lazy to chase them down into hostile territory. Well, I'll probably take a pile of attrition now. It won't be worth it. There. I don't need that much prestige anyway. Let's face it. Alright, white piece. So. Now I just have to... Now there are only two wars left before I take the Pope. And make him my biatch. Speaking of which, you need to be assassinated. Just just doing this in advance, because I have a truce with that one. Alright, so now I don't have a truce with the Pope anymore. Beaver is gone. Excellent. Octavius the Great will go down in history as being the one who dismantled Catholicism. I think I'm going to have to like code some kind of event or something for this. Something ceremonious. The last pope conquered. Well. So tell me, Lothringia. Uh, you got anything? Yeah, you've really got nothing else. I don't know how you got four in the first place, but oh well. Let's work quickly before he ends up with four again somehow. Ugh. Friggin... Wait, that's a Catholic heresy, isn't it? No, wait. Bogomist is a uh, Orthodox one. Interesting. I wouldn't have expected that to appear. Hmm. 
What are you, white? Uh, you're, you're a holy site, I see. Okay. I didn't realize I was looking at the religion map mode for Catholics. Alright. Alright, so that gets us control of that already. Good, daughter's brilliant strategist. As useless as that is. Is there no one here to meet me? Like, come on here. Is there not someone here to meet me? Vicken. Eh, I should come go go up there and kill that bitch. I'm getting disappointed in you. Oh, 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 oh. That's that, that that's a fairly decent army there. Um Hmm. Huh. Oh. Okay. I don't necessarily want to raise everything. That seems a little wasteful. So let's just raise stuff that's nearby. Yeah, right. We'll get that to, uh... Aquilia real quick. And just to make sure we'll grab other stuff that's close by. Excellent news, sure. I might as well just research economy tech or something. I don't know. Uh, got the best generals we can get. Nope, we need a very good general on the right. You, middle. You there. Good. Alright. My god. That is an astounding army, sir. Wow. <laughs> you know, uh, doesn't their generals are shit. Most of their army is made up of light infantry. And pikemen. The archers don't exactly help either, now that we're in the melee phase. Second hit the melee phase and those archers became useless, their army collapsed. And we captured the king. I feel like instead that I should just... Just execute this fucker. It'll cut his kingdom in twine. Hilariously. Um... Very well. Yeah, I'll just enforce my demand. You, you know what? I'd love to see the kingdom cut and twine, but I don't know which. who'd get what, and I don't know if I'd be at war with the successor in question. So. That's, ooh, I have 11 out of 10. Right, I have the county of Stiermark. Ooh, I didn't realize I'd have that. Speaking of which, it appears I have not given Provence up to somebody. There, that fixes that. Alright, Pope Silverius. Oh yes, we have raised army levies. Uh, those are both, so it's okay. Uh... Darn, it doesn't look like I'll actually get him as a vassal, but oh well, it's worth something, I suppose. Yeah, looks like he, uh... Die. And now he's back to being Italian. Much better. Alright, well at least the Pope is now landless. It's something. It's something. Ah, uh, anyway, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. France is reunited with Aquitaine. Kind of. 
I have no idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> and I think our next target is, of course, as I said before, going to be Toulouse. That way we can link up our Mediterranean holdings. And now we have these neat little outposts in Britannia, once again. And Beers England disintegrated. Completely. No, really. I, I am actually believing that England does not exist. Oh. It does, but it's now owned by France again. Yay, yay, yay. These people cannot make up their mind on who's king of what, can they? Also, apparently, Norway is there. Okay. <laughs> okay. And it appears the Seljuks have finally collapsed. In their entirety. Yeah, it looks like a lot of places are starting to collapse a little bit. Mm. Nah, it doesn't look like it's, they're collapsing at all, really. The Seljuk, though, sure there's got to be an independence war, right? Claim, succession crisis, liberation of Syria. No, okay, so still not quite broken. Closing in on it, though. Closing in on it. And it appears, as usual, no one can get close to uniting the Norse faith. Uh, they will never learn. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. As always, this has been your host, Calvin, signing off.